One of Windows 7's big selling points is that it should work on many older PCs. The hardware that was required for Windows Vista will, in most cases, support Windows 7 too. However, one cool feature that helps position Windows 7 for the future is the dramatically expanded native support for touch screens. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNET, and today we'll be taking a quick tour of Windows 7's touch screen abilities. Windows 7 supports touch screens from its core, which means that even programs that were never designed to work with touch features will be compatible, assuming you've got the hardware. iPhone users and other fans of flicking for screen movement will get a kick out of getting the same feature on their desktop. In IE8, for example, you can flick to advance the page and go back. The large Start Menu button and the large icons on the taskbar make navigating with touch extremely easy. To access jump lists, you can touch an icon and drag down, or on IE8, it'll show you recently visited sites. Resizing windows using arrow snap doesn't require going to the extreme edge of the monitor. On the desktop and in programs, you can use tap and drag, right click, back, forward, zoom, and rotate. Multi-touch gets some love, assuming your hardware supports it. Pinch your fingers together to zoom out, or expand them to zoom in. Rotating involves pressing on an object like this photo with one finger, and then moving the second finger in the direction you want to rotate it. The right-click context menu can be brought up by holding one finger on the monitor, and then tapping it with another. You can also bring it up by holding a finger down, waiting for the circle to appear, and dragging down. There's also a native touch keyboard in Windows 7. By tapping on the URL bar, you can see a little keyboard icon. Tap that, and a keyboard appears at the bottom of the screen. If you don't like typing, you can always just write what you want. Improved backend support includes high DPI support, which basically means that for the end user, touching small objects on screen should be more accurate. Although for many users, touchscreens are a luxury and not a necessity, we're already starting to see affordable netbooks with the technology, making the touch support one of the strongest selling points for Microsoft's new OS. For the first look at Windows 7 touchscreen gestures, I'm Seth Rosenblatt for CNET. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.